Hello everyone, my name is Patrick. I'm the developer of the Mathematica plugin uh, for IntelliJ IDEA and today I want to show you some things um, with comments. Um, in particular we want to see um, three things. The first thing is how you work with comments when you um, when you develop a package and how you can comment out lines and how you can insert comments in different places. The second point will be how completion inside comment works. And the last point will be how you can um, structure your code um, with comments uh, so that it looks very nice if you open a package with Mathematica. So let's jump in. The first thing um, obviously is how you insert a comment. Um, what you shouldn't do is um, just typing out like this and begin to, to write. That's not um, that's not how you should do it. You should always use um, either control slash or if you like um, control uh, shift slash. I'll, sh I'll show you the difference between those two later. Um, but this is basically how you how you do it. So if you like to comment a section you just press um, control shift slash or control slash and start typing. So um, I made a few changes um, this weekend. So now you can press enter and you get to the next line again with a new comment, which is very convenient if you um, if you write uh, longer stuff. Okay. So this is the first thing. Uh, the second thing is <clears throat> um, the control slash um, a shortcut does more. So when you're in a line which already contains code and you press control slash, then the line gets commented out. That's very neat. And this, uh, of course, works for, um, for sections as well. OK, so um, but what if you really like to, for instance, if you really like to insert a comment here on this place? So uh, we've seen that control slash um, isn't working because it will comment out the whole line. So what you can do here is just press control shift and slash and you get a nice comment inside this position. Okay. So um, that's that. One thing um, where comments are very handy is, for instance, if you want to write um, to-do statements, things that you like to do later or you have to take care uh, of later. So if you like to do that, um, it's really uh, pretty simple. You just write to-do and you see that instantly it gets highlighted. In addition to the highlighting here, you get um, a little mark on the right, um, on the right side, which uh, tells you that there is a to-do item. Okay. Let's look um, at some at some bigger package. So here we have um, the iGraph M package from uh, Jabolx, and um, I'm just taking this as, as example because uh, it's very very long. It's about 3,000 lines long, and we can look at it and can try several things out. So the first thing uh, the first thing you you see is that usually a package contains uh, some some type of of header comment where you give basic um, uh, basic information about the package, about yourself and about the context and stuff. Okay, so uh, what you see here is that certain parts are highlighted. Those, um, those things are usually um, used by all developers. Um, here we come to the second, um, to the second point of, of my list, which is how you can do some completions inside comments. So let's say you want to add another thing. Okay. At this position, you can just press control space and you get a list of, um, of possible things you can uh, use for your comments. This list is um, basically a compilation of all the keywords I found in, um, in all the packages that are provided with Mathematica. So this should be basically enough for, for everyone. So whatever. Okay. Um, another nice thing is that I added um, earlier that you can now um, really use completion inside comments uh, 
for your uh, for your functions that you defined. So let's go a bit deeper. So let's say you want to make a, a, um, a comment here. Okay, I want to say, um, yeah, the function, and now I can press um, Control Space, and you see that not only I get the um, the tags, uh, I get all the built-in stuff as well. Okay, so I could, for instance, just uh, write load ig, and it will know what to do. It does something. Okay. Um, uh, completion works basically only for um, for things that are defined at the um, at the very upper level, at the very highest level, which is um, the global definitions. Okay, I, I won't go deeper into that, but um, it should work for all the things you define here, and it it won't work, for instance, for module um, uh, for local uh, module variables. Okay. Um, for my last point, we probably want to see how this package um, looks inside Mathematica. So um, let me open the package in Mathematica. And you see that the, uh, the top header is um, nicely separated. And <clears throat> basically what follows is the whole package, which is maybe sometimes not the best way because uh, Mathematica has great ways to structure um, a document with sections, with um, titles, with subsections, with text, and, um, and so on. So how could we um, uh, uh, include such things into our package so that it looks nice? That's uh, very easy, actually. Um, let me close this so that when we make changes, we don't see it. Okay, so let's say <clears throat> we have here a function that uh, whatever does recompile. Okay, and I want to explain it in, in a bit uh, uh, a bit deeper. So what you can do is you start a comment, and at this position, which means you started the comment, you're inside it. There's uh, only space in it. You can press. Um, Control um, and space again, and now you get all the things that are possible for uh, subdividing and marking um, a package. So let's say we want a section. You see that the whole comment section um, is highlighted now because it's a section. This comment uh, cannot contain anything else. So you shouldn't write something in because that wouldn't be allowed. So what you can do is go to the next line and um, basically write, okay, uh, this section is about recompiling. Compiling. So, okay. And <clears throat> then you maybe want to add a bit of text to um, to what this, this function does. It is not... Um, a comment to the function itself, it's maybe an explanatory text or something else. So, um, open new thing, and then you can, uh, oops, text. So, uh, what this uh, function does is pretty obvious. Um, please use it with care. So, okay, let's keep this for now and save the package. And let me open it up again. Um, so here it, here it is. So let's go down. Go down, go down, go down. No. Still not there. So here we are. So what you see here is now we have um, a section and uh, what's even better is we have a closable section. So we can close this whole and since we have only one section in the whole package, it will close um, everything until the end. And what you see here is our comment that we put in after the text. So 
um, those things are a pretty nice way to structure your um, to structure a package in a visual way and to to add um, text and explanations uh, to anyone who is reading it probably not inside idea but uh, inside Mathematica itself okay that's basically it for today have a nice evening